everyone welcome to another training video in sc200 microsoft security operations analyst series in this training video i will cover the learning path for mitigate threats using microsoft defender for cloud and its first module that is plan for cloud workload protections using the microsoft defender for cloud the key learning objectives of this module are to describe the Microsoft Defender for Cloud features, explain Microsoft Defender for Cloud workload protections, and enabling the Microsoft Defender for Cloud. My name is Navneet Kumar, and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In case you are new to this channel, please subscribe it for future updates. The Microsoft Defender for Cloud is a comprehensive security solution from Microsoft for cloud and on-premises environments that provides multiple layers of protection. Here is the list of some of the key capabilities of the Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Number one is DevSecOps solutions. This includes the development, the security and operations, the col collaboration or combination of all three. This is also referred as rugged DevOps sometimes. This helps the developers secure the applications and the infrastructure at the code level across various cloud platforms and the CI-CD pipelines. This integrates the security throughout the development lifecycle. Next is Cloud Security Posture Management, also referred as CSPM which offers the visibility into the cloud environment, surfacing the actionable recommendations to improve the security and prevent the potential breaches by identifying the misconfigurations and any vulnerabilities. Next is Cloud Workload Protection Platform, CWPP, which protects the critical cloud workloads like the servers, containers, storages, databases, and the other resources from the threats. This ensures the comprehensive security for all cloud-based applications and the services. In a nutshell, the Microsoft Defender for Cloud secures your cloud infrastructure, applications, and workloads by providing the proactive threat detection, configuration management, and the continuous monitoring. It is not only limited to the cloud services, but can also protect and secure your on-premises or multi-cloud environments. Later in the modules, we will see that how can we integrate our on-premises workloads with Defender for Cloud and improve the cloud security posture or the security posture of our on-premises or other cloud workloads. The Microsoft Defender for Cloud offers the two main plans to enhance the cloud security. Number one is the CSPM, the Cloud Security Posture Management. The Security Posture Management plan helps you continuously assess and improve your cloud security posture by identifying any misconfigurations, vulnerabilities, and any compliance gaps across the cloud resources. It provides the recommendations to strengthen the security and reduce the risk. Next is Cloud Workload Protection, the CWPP plan that protects the cloud workloads like the virtual machines, containers, databases, and the storage from threats by providing the real-time detection, vulnerability management, and advanced threat protections. This ensures you that your cloud-based assets remain secure. Both the plans work together to provide the comprehensive security for the cloud environments that offers the proactive threat management and a secure cloud posture. I will put a Microsoft reference link to provide you the more details on the concepts of cloud security posture management. Do visit the description of this video. Next is the interactive guided demonstration on Microsoft Defender for Cloud where you will learn or you will experience the management of cloud security posture, protect against threats and get advanced insights by going through a hands-on guided demonstration. 
I will put the link of this guided demonstration in the description of this video. So please do visit it and spare few minutes into enabling the Defender for Cloud and protecting the cloud services from the threats. To enable the Microsoft Defender for Cloud and access all its features, including the threat protection capabilities, you need to follow the several steps like enable the enhanced security features. You must enable the enhanced security features on the subscription that contains the workloads that you want to protect. This is the prerequisite for unlocking the full range of Defender for Cloud security features. After enabling the security features, you can navigate to the Defender for Cloud to go to the Defender for Cloud dashboard portal. You can select the subscription for which you want to enable this and then you enable the Defender plans. You turn on the relevant Defender plans for the workloads that you are using. For an instance, your virtual machines, containers, databases or the storage. You get the comprehensive protection and that includes the threat detection and vulnerability management. By enabling these features, you will activate the Defender for Cloud's full security capabilities, which provides the continuous threat monitoring and vulnerability scanning and advanced protection for your cloud resources. This brings to the end of this module. In the next video, I will talk about connecting the Azure and non-Azure assets to the Microsoft Defender for Cloud for the protection and improving the security score. This brings to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it yet.